Hi. Let us see the process of diagonalization in three steps. First, you take the matrix A, find eigenvalues. To find eigenvalues, you need to write characteristic equation of A. That's what determinant of A minus lambda I equal to zero. Here, the matrix is not uh, upper triangular or not lower triangular or not diag diagonal matrix. Suppose if it is upper triangular or lower or a diagonal matrix, eigenvalues are nothing but the diagonal entries. But here it is not. So we need to solve for uh, the eigenvalues here. We need to solve this equation. If we solve, the eigenvalues are going to be negative 2, 3 and 6. These are the eigenvalues of this matrix. And next, you need to find the corresponding eigenvectors. First, you start with lambda equal to negative 2. Then you solve this linear system a minus of minus 2 times identity multiplied with x equal to 0. It means you are solving this linear system a minus lambda i into x equal to 0. See the solution space of this. Solution space of this linear system is called the eigenspace which is nothing but eigenspace of a. So for this, you can see the eigenvector is nothing but negative 1, 0, 1. I have already solved it. And for lambda equal to 3, the eigenvector is 1, negative 1, 1. And for lambda equal to uh, 6, the eigenvector is 1, 2, 1. Now, since the eigenvalues are distinct, definitely the matrix is diagonalizable. And we can express A in this form, A equal to P, D, P inverse. And we can write what is A, I mean A equal to P, P is nothing but, you take these eigenvectors as columns of this matrix. So the first column is negative 1, 0, 1, the second 1, negative 1, 1, third 1, 2, 1. When it comes to D, this is a diagonal matrix where the diagonal entries are the first entry first diagonal entry is the eigenvalue for this eigenvector which is negative 2 and next is for 3 and next is for 6 so the rest of them are zeros and here we need to write its inverse negative 1 1 0 negative 1 2 1 1 1 and its inverse that's it this is the process find the eigenvalues then the eigenvectors remember one thing if it is a 3 by 3 matrix, you must find 3 linearly independent eigenvectors. If you can find, then only we say the matrix is diagonalizable. So this is the process of diagonalization. I hope you understand. Thank you. Bye.